Hey everyone, it's Rob from Spectrum and welcome back to another video. In this one, we're unboxing and reviewing the brand new Spectrum Aurora Mini Pearl Mark III. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this. Hit that notification bell to be updated of any new content we release. Drop a like in this video if it's helped you in any way. Feel free to leave down in the comment section below your thoughts or if you have any questions about the Mini Pearl Mark III. Follow us on social media at spectrum.aurora and visit our website spectrum-brand.com. Let's get into it. Let's take a closer look at what's included with the Mini Pearl III. Firstly, you have the ring light itself as well as two diffusers. These are soft white diffusers, a 1.8 meter light stand, a camera ball mount, a power adapter, a Bluetooth remote, a flexible smartphone holder, a half mirror, and a shoulder carry bag to house it all. There are two pieces of documentation that are included with the Mini Pearl 3 ring light. Firstly is the operating manual. This includes some safety precautions as well as the installation guide. The second one here is a small card that outlines some simple tips on how to get the most out of your ring light. You can also view video instructions on our website which is spectrum-brand.com slash pages slash help dash me. You may already be familiar with our Mini Pearl range of ring lights. So the main two differences of the Mini Pearl Mark III compared to the Mark II are that the ring light now supports battery operation. So these here are the Sony NPF series batteries. They're sold separately and they can be used with this ring light as well as being powered by AC, which is provided. The other difference is that there's now a new cold shoe mounting point at the top of the ring light, as well as the traditional one that's located towards the bottom of the ring light. The first step in setting up the Mini Pearl 3 ring light is to set up the light stand. The light stand is actually a special compact light stand. So you can see here it's quite small when collapsed. Firstly, you need to loosen the knob. This allows you to pull the legs out. You can use two hands if you desire and folding them in the opposite direction like so. Then you tighten that knob to secure the light stand legs. You can have them spread apart like so, or you can have them a little bit wider for more stability. Now you have three sections on the ring light here with the three knobs, and this extends it to its full height of 1.8 meters. It's also best advised to use a sandbag to support the light stand legs, and these are sold separately. Once you've set up the light stand, the next step is to mount the ring light to the stand. Firstly, you need to loosen the bottom screw here so that the screw doesn't obstruct the way when mounting it to the stand. Once you've loosened that, you can mount the ring light directly to the stand and then screw to tighten. You need to make sure that there are no silver parts showing at the bottom of the light stand because that ensures that the light is flush to the stand and it's securely mounted. The next step is to mount the diffusers to the ring light. Firstly, you need to distinguish between the two parts and these match up to the bottom of the ring light or to the top of the ring light. This part here has a section that matches the bottom here. And to mount it, all you need to do is just push until you hear a clicking sound on each of the tabs. Now you grab the top part and you repeat the process. Diffusers are great to soften the light. However, if you do want a harsher light, it's also good to remove the diffusers and that way you can have more output from your ring light. There are two ways to power your Mini Pearl 3. The first way is via the AC adapter that's provided. So plug your AC adapter into a wall outlet and then with this part that's hanging from the bottom of the ring light here, that's the input jack for the AC adapter. Plug that in, then twist to lock. From there, you can turn on the ring light by spinning the dimmer knob until you hear that click and that turns on the ring light. The second way to power the light is via optional batteries. These are sold separately. These are the Sony NPF series batteries. This one here is a higher capacity battery. Now to mount these to the ring light, firstly, you need to see the two mounting points here on either side. 
and you need to line up the alignment tabs with the battery as well as the back plate here where you slide in to secure. Do that with the second battery and once they click you know that that's securely installed. From there the same process you can turn the dimming knob until you hear the click and that powers the ring light. Now why would you want battery operation with your ring light? Firstly if you don't have access to a power point it's great because that means you can operate wirelessly. Also if you're on location if you're outdoors or if you have a makeup shoot or a video shoot that doesn't have any powering options, batteries are also a great way to go. That allows you to be completely wire free. So that means you can even remove the ring light from the light stand and still power it. Now the features of the Mini Pell 3. Firstly, it has a tilt head. So that means you can loosen this top knob to control the tilt of the light. So if you're looking to shoot flat lay photography or if you're using the ring light as a makeup application or an application light, this is perfect for that. It has 240 SMD LED bulbs, and these are split between two different color temperatures from 3000 Kelvin to 5600 Kelvin. It also has a 90 degree beam angle, so that means it's a widespread of light. There's a CRI rating of 95. It also has dimming adjustment control through the dimming knob, so that means you can control it from 0% to 100%. And it also has color temperature adjusting control, so from that 3000 Kelvin, to 5600 Kelvin. The output of the light is 3000 lux at one meter. And the size of the light is 14 inches in diameter. So that's the outer diameter. And there's 10 inches of space at the center of the ring light. So that's the space for your cameras and smartphones. It also weighs at 0.6 kilos. And it has a lifespan of 80,000 hours. There are a few optional accessories available for the Spectrum Aurora range of ring lights. And this includes the Mini Pell 3. First accessory is a flexible gooseneck. This allows you to maneuver and position your ring light in any which way you desire. With the current configuration, it only allows you to tilt the ring light head. However, with the gooseneck, it allows you to position it and angle it in different ways. To mount the gooseneck to the light stand, firstly, remove the ring light if it isn't already yet. Then similar to the ring light mounting process, Loosen the knob at the bottom of the gooseneck to ensure the screw doesn't obstruct the way when mounting to the top of the light stand. Now mount the gooseneck to the top of the light stand and screw the knob to tighten. Now you can mount the ring light. Same thing again, ensure the knob is loosened so the screw doesn't obstruct the way when mounting it to the gooseneck. Double check to make sure all the knobs are tightened including the tilt head knob located at the top of the ring light mount. Now you can position your ring light in any which way you desire. An essential safety tip when powering and operating your ring light is to use a power surge protector. You may have a power surge protector board at home. If not, it's best to look at an optional power surge protector adapter such as this. To use it, all you need to do is plug your ring light AC adapter into the power surge protector, and then plug the power surge protector into your wall outlet. From here, you're ensured that your ring light is safe to operate. Another essential safety tip is to use a sandbag to support the light stand of your ring light. There are two types of sandbags available. Firstly, are empty sandbags. These have zipper compartments that allow you to use your own weight on the inside. The second are pre-filled sandbags that range in a weight of five kilos to 10 kilos. To mount these to a light stand, for the empty one here, all you need to do is to wrap it over the light stand like so. These are called saddle sandbags. With the pre-filled sandbags, do the same thing. Have it, however, using it towards the bottom of the leg. To install the half mirror to the Mini Pell 3, firstly, remove the adhesive. What you'll notice is that there's two screw mounting points at the bottom of the half mirror. And these line up to the two screw mounting points towards the bottom of the center of the ring light. There's a screwdriver and three screws provided. You only need two screws. So there's one spare screw there for you. Get the first screw and line it up to the ring light and screw to tighten. Now grab the second screw and repeat the same process.
To install the camera mount to the ring light, firstly you need to grab the two components as part of the camera ball head. The first component is a small cold shoe with two little round rings on them. The second is the camera ball head. What you'll notice is that the screw thread matches to the bottom of the camera ball head. So you need to screw that to the bottom to tighten. From there, the top of the ball head also has a screw thread. And this matches the bottom of most cameras. Screw the ball head to the bottom of the camera. And once secure, you can mount to the cold shoe bracket of the ring light. You can twist the bottom round wheel to tighten to the cold shoe bracket to make sure that's secure. Then you can twist the top round wheel to secure the ball head so it doesn't spin. Now if you find that your camera is not center aligned, what you need to do is just loosen the knob of the ball head and reposition the camera and screw once again to tighten. The great thing about the camera ball head is that it doubles up as a smartphone holder. Firstly, you need to install the camera ball head to the bottom of the ring light. Then you can choose whether you want to use the back mounting point or the bottom mounting point to screw to the camera ball head. Once you've mounted the smartphone bracket, you can grab your phone and pull on either the top part of the smartphone holder to securely mount your smartphone. The great thing about the Mini Pearl 3 is that you can utilize the top mounting point. So that means you can utilize the mirror and a smartphone holder at the same time. To do this, firstly install the mirror, then you can grab your ball head mount, which is used for the camera, then mount the smartphone holder to that ball head mount. Now you need to maneuver the ball head with the smartphone holder into the little gap on the side of the ball head. So this way, the smartphone is positioned in the front of the actual ball head mount. Now you can slide this to the top mounting point, like so. Then screw the top rings to tighten, and you can loosen the ball head to maneuver your phone into either portrait mode or into landscape mode, just like this. Another popular optional accessory is the desktop stand. It's a small stand that's suitable for tabletops, just like this. So to open this up, it's the same process as with the ring light stand. Loosen the knob, then expand the legs, and push down on the center column to completely expand the legs. Now you can grab the ring light from the larger light stand and mount directly to the desktop stand. This is perfect if you have limited workspace or if you're on location and you're setting this up at a workbench. The Mini Pearl 3 comes with a Bluetooth shutter remote. This is so you can wirelessly take photos with your smartphone. To connect to your smartphone, firstly, turn on your Bluetooth. Ensure the battery is installed into the Bluetooth shutter remote. You'll know this because the blue light will be flashing. You can hold the button and this puts it into pairing mode. So that under your Bluetooth setting, the AB shutter three should show up. And you press that to connect and then press pair. And it's now connected. So that means you can jump into your camera app and you can test this. As you press the button, it should take a photo. Now this is great because when you mount this to the ring light, that means you can go ahead and take selfies or take photos of your subject in front of you wirelessly. So that was our quick unboxing and setup for the Mini Pearl 3 ring light. For more videos just like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to be updated of any new content we release. Leave a like on the video if it's helped you. Feel free to leave down in the comment section below your thoughts or if you have any questions about the Mini Pearl 3 ring light. Follow us on social media at spectrum.aurora and visit our website, spectrum-brand.com.